What's going on guys? I'm James and today we're going to be talking about what could possibly be causing your unwanted hair growth. Now as a little background, I am a naturopathic medical student and so nothing I say here is meant to be taken as medical advice. It's only for educational purposes. Now one of the primary goals of naturopathic physicians is to determine the underlying root cause of a person's symptoms. So let's dive in. Now if you're a woman and you're experiencing unwanted hair growth on the face or the body, it seems excessive. This is known as hirsutism. Now there's various severities of hirsutism, but some of the primary underlying issues are either hormone imbalance or PCOS. Now this stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. So one of the primary things you need to keep in mind with hirsutism is your processed carbohydrate intake. Now the reason for this is whenever you eat processed carbohydrates, you secrete a hormone called insulin and you secrete it at high levels. Now insulin has various functions, but one of the things it does is it tells the ovaries to produce androgens. Now androgens are sex hormones and one of those androgens is testosterone. Now you may be familiar with this uh, hormone, it's found in both men and women, but primarily men or in higher levels I should say. So think about what testosterone does. It gives men a deep voice, it causes facial hair, body hair, musculature. So similarly, if testosterone is too elevated in women, they can also develop unwanted hair growth. So processed carbohydrates cause an elevation in insulin, then insulin tells the ovaries to produce more testosterone. Another thing insulin does is it decreases sex hormone binding globulin. Now what this does is it basically binds and ties up any testosterone in the blood to prevent it from promoting its action. So if you have decreased levels of sex hormone binding globulin, you're going to have elevated free testosterone floating around in the bloodstream and inducing its effects. So one of the studies that I came across was based on licorice. And so a group of researchers gave women three and a half grams of licorice over a period of about two menstrual cycles. And they saw a significant reduction in testosterone in these women. And another thing to keep in mind is dairy consumption. Now in the 1950s, the FDA allowed farmers to use hormones in their cattle to allow increased meat production. Now I know you've seen the stores packages that say hormone free dairy. Hormone free dairy doesn't necessarily exist because there, it's been found that there's 60 naturally occurring hormones within dairy. Most of them are androgens and these are to promote the growth of a baby calf into a 2000 pound cow or bull. And so the other thing to consider is that dairy is strongly associated with acne formation. And so while there are studies that support this, even more so is the empirical evidence of patients who have either acne, eczema, psoriasis, and when they discontinue eating dairy, then these conditions improve. So another study I found involved researchers who gave women spearmint tea. And so these were women who already had hirsutism, they had elevated androgens, and they gave these women spearmint tea, two cups, for five days, and they saw a significant decrease in their testosterone levels. Lastly, there's topical fennel extract creams. And so fennel is a herb if you're not familiar with it. So this group of researchers gave women topical fennel cream and saw an 18% reduction in hair diameter of these women who had hirsutism. So while 18% isn't a major reduction, if you take into consideration all this data and you applied it, theoretically, you should be able to significantly decrease your unwanted hair growth, whether it's on the face or the body. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if so, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you have any other video requests that you would like me to cover, just leave them in the comment section.